This is a potato. It's about 11 centimetres long. Seven and a half centimetres wide. But how big is it? How much volume does it have? Can I measure its volume at home? Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be looking at measuring the volume of common objects using common objects. The method we'll be using today works well for objects that are happy to go underwater. So don't try this with electrical devices. What is your volume? I don't know, I'm sorry! Then I must measure your volume. No, you need me! I will measure your volume. No, I can't swim! Oh, okay then. Volume is a measure of how much space an object takes up. In science, we often measure volume in centimetres cubed or meters cubed. You'll sometimes come across volumes measured in litres or millilitres, but physicists like to use the metric system as often as possible all the time. Back to the potato. We can say it's about the size of a tennis ball-ish, but we want to be more specific than that. Let's measure its volume. You will need a measuring jug, water, and to know that one milliliter is equivalent to one centimeter cubed. I'll start by putting 500 millilitres of water in the jug. It doesn't really matter how much, just so long as you're confident the whole object will be covered when you put it in. Then I put the object in. Done! The new volume of water is now about 700 millilitres, because the potato is now pushing the water out of the way. By subtracting my initial water volume from my final water volume, I get the volume of the potato. So, 700 millilitres minus 500 millilitres equals 200 millilitres. Since one millilitre is the same as one centimetre cubed, this means the volume of my potato is about 200 centimetres cubed. Not bad for a jug from the kitchen. If you haven't got enough water, take the object out and start with some more water. If you find that your object floats, push it down till it is covered just make sure that it's the only object that is actually underwater. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. This part of my dinner. Today we'll be looking at how to measure volume using blah.